Welcome, this is Solopreneur Success Strategies, where we talk about mindset, your website, your brand, your social media marketing, your customers, how to sell to your customers, how to, how to find your customers, how to talk about the skills and knowledge you need in your business, and free software and tools to help you save time, money, and be more productive, as well as strategy and systems, here on Solopreneur Success Strategies. Welcome. Welcome, this is Jane Gardner, and welcome to Solopreneur Success Strategies. Today is Mindset Monday, and we're talking about your growth versus your fixed mindset. In order to have success, you have to be able to have a growth mindset, and we've been discussing that. So let's get started, since we uh, don't know how long my voice will last. So there are some steps you can take to move yourself towards a more growth-orientated mindset. Step one, you have to be aware of what kind of mindset you have. So here your fixed mindset voice. This is your inner critic, the one who says that you can't do what you can do. You most likely know this voice, even though you have never identified it as an inner critic. The first step is to identify that voice and then identify the times when you hear it. These are situations where you're brought back to a fixed rather than a growth mindset. To do this, you simply need to practice awareness. So for example, you're um, struggling right now with a um, cold and I don't really want to do this, but uh, I am struggling through because I want to get it done. And so I'm getting away from the fixed mindset of saying you're sick, you shouldn't be doing this, you need to be perfect when you do this. And I'm basically saying, no, inner voice critic, I am going to just do this anyway, because people can hear me. And uh, there's some nice slides. So hey, let's just get going. So When you are aware of your inner critic, then you can listen to it. So you start by identifying the voice when you hear it. Next, try to remember what event preceded those negative thoughts. For example, if you just got up in the morning and you're feeling like dragon um, and don't feel like actually doing what you need to do in terms of your business, then you're going to have an inner critic who's going to say you're not going to be able to succeed at this. Why are you trying? Maybe it's because you're tired at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day. So just remember to figure out what events precede these negative thoughts. It's a bit like trying to identify what is causing a stomach ache because your inner critic is like a stomach ache and your inner critic can actually create stomach aches. I've known that many times when the negativity can create stress. So you have to go back and try to remember what you ate just before. (laughs) So uh, you also have to uh, realize when your inner critic starts to start, why is that? Is it because you're tired from the end of the day? And uh, maybe you should just take a rest for a few minutes before continuing on what you need to do? If you're not sure you've identified your inner critic yet, try looking for cues. For example, look for times when you find that you're doubting yourself. Saying something like, can I really do this? Or be aware of when you're focusing on failure rather than success. So for example, right now, I would love to clear my throat, but I don't want it to be heard on the recording. So I am aware very much that I am struggling and feeling very negative, but I'm going to continue on because I'm aware that I have a negative critic who is trying to stop me from continuing on. So I'll try not to cough into your recording. A good place to look for your fixed mindset voice is any time that you're trying something new or challenging. Now, I must agree that this is not new and challenging for me. I've been doing these recordings for about four or five months, so maybe my inner critic isn't really telling me I'm sick. It's probably just me telling me I'm sick. But anyway, (laughs) so far this is not new or challenging, so uh, 
I can certainly continue to do this, so it's not really that challenging for me because I've had plenty of practice. But for example, if you have to do a webinar and you want to do a training on that webinar, then you have to think about why you're stopping yourself and why is your um, inner critic saying that you're incapable of doing a webinar. So step two. So now you have to reframe. Once you identify your inner critic, you have to reframe. So once you recognize the voice, your inner critic, then you can learn to control it. So the way that you interpret challenges, obstacles, or criticisms that you face is up to you. So, but this is the most challenging step, of course, because it's difficult to reframe the voice because it is a negative um, inner critic. When you have well-grooved patterns of inner critic um, talk that you have in your life, so you need to be able to change it. So the way to think about reframing is that to imagine uh, that you're going to be giving, you're giving advice to a friend. And naturally, you would never use a harsh, critical voice when trying to help a friend. So if you would never do this with a friend, why are you doing it with yourself? So we are generally harsher on ourselves than we are with others. So instead of talking to yourself, imagine that you're giving advice to a good friend. So, for example, I would tell my inner voice that, hey, this is really exciting to be able to do a webinar, maybe have some people on the webinar who might learn something from me and maybe even uh, want to continue further for me. So I should be doing that. I shouldn't be putting it off, should I, my friend? So take each statement that your inner voice gives you and imagine that if it were a friend, your partner, or family member who was saying it to themselves. <clears throat> now imagine that you're giving them advice and reframe the negative statement that was made. So for example, are you sure you can do that? Would be a fixed mindset um, voice inside of you. And instead, you should reframe it and say, I'm not sure I can do it, but I can learn with practice and effort. So for example, rather than putting off doing a webinar, I could say, I'm going to try it anyway, regardless of whether it's going to fall apart. At least I'll learn something from the first time and then I'll continue on. So for example, a comment that is very much a fixed mindset is what if I fail? I'll be a failure. Well, if you know me at all, you know that I don't believe in failure. I don't even like to use the word failure. I prefer to call it a mistake that I learn from. But a growth mindset will say all successful people have failures, so I can learn from my failure. And to be honest, I don't even use the word failure in my life. I try to call it a mistake. So step three is action that you take on the growth mindset, of course. So after reframing comes the action. So what challenges can you take on in order to foster and nurture a growth mindset? What are the things that are stopping you right now from doing what you want to do in the future in terms of your business? What challenges have you been avoiding, for example? Have you been avoiding doing some public speeding, speaking? Have you been avoiding trying to learn how to do this, a webinar or a training? Have you been avoiding um, putting up a sales page for something that you would like to sell? Or have you been avoiding um, contacting uh, potential new clients because you know, don't want to be told no to? Well, choose a challenge and try it, and try it again, but this time turn your fixed mindset around. Find a work-related or personal task that you've either been shying away from doing or that you feel you failed at. For example, there might be an important client that you've been meaning to contact, but you're shying away from contacting them because you feel you don't want to bother them or you don't want them to say no or you don't want them to... Um, to turn you down in terms of what you would like to offer them. So what you have to do is turn it around and just contact that client. Just try it. That's what is a growth mindset idea. And then so you do the challenge, you contact the client, and then you learn from it. You can then apply it to the next challenge. 
Once you have success with the first challenge, you can learn how to reframe your mindset to take on the next challenge. For example, um, if you can learn how to reframe your mindset to be eager uh, to be contacting new prospects or clients, to be eager to try public speaking, to be eager to try uh, to do a webinar, or to be eager just to do something that's beyond what you've done before, then you are learning how to reframe your mindset to take on the next challenge. And regardless of the outcome of the challenge, you are learning how to have a growth mindset. So, excuse me for my voice and my um, <clears throat> sickness here, but I hope you learned something today from Growth Mindset. We will continue on, of course, next week with the Growth Mindset. And uh, let's hope that you come by again and learn some more about trying to change your mindset from a fixed to a growth mindset. And you can develop your success mindset by going to jgtips.com and uh, backslash s mindset and get my free ebook on developing your success mindset with trainings in there to learn how to be more successful as an entrepreneur this is jane gardner and i'm looking very pale because i put some light on and i hope next week i'll be looking and feeling a lot better so thanks for listening it's jane gardner Thank you for listening. This has been Jane Gardner at Solopreneur Success Strategies. Please go and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. And also to find out about other programs as well over at jgtips.com slash programs. And over there we have a free uh, mindset magazine for you to check out at jgtips.com backslash mindset offer so welcome thanks for listening and i hope to see you again here tomorrow as this is a seven day a week show on mindset your customer getting your message out on social media and on your website talking about strategies talking about business systems talking about all kinds of things including the skills that you need as a solopreneur so please come back and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs thank you